It is the most wonderful time of the year for farmers, for people who love them, and of course, who love their product. It is the 95th annual Royal Agricultural Winter Fair. There's nothing bigger, there's nothing better. It's true what they say, Toronto is a cultural centre. And this week, there's no culture like agriculture. This is Charlie Johnstone. He is CEO of the Big Fair. Hello, Charlie. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. I've been here before. I've wandered through before, but it's always different. Why is that? Well, it's ever-changing. I mean, uh -huh. it's food, it's agriculture, it's farmers. Lots to see and do down here. This is the 95th Royal Agricultural Winter Fair. What an incredible history. And the buildings that we're in, you actually have permanent offices in these buildings. This is why these buildings exist, correct? A absolutely. That's whole, the, the whole part of it. This is the heart and soul of really agriculture in Canada. We live in such a fast-paced society. We're looking for things that are real and authentic. Yes. And it doesn't get any more real and authentic than farmers, farm animals, and yeah. food. I mean, we're so authentic you can step in it if you're not careful. That's a good looking cow. Thank you. Is it a cow or a bull? This is a bull. He's right, he's an expert. This is a 2,000 pound bull. Look at that. And the lung capacity must be huge because the air that's coming out of that nostril, it's like a hair dryer is turning on and off. <laughs> Except it's, um, it smells different. When you bring these animals here, they need to look their best, don't they? They need, you can, you can fluff them all you want at the farm, but once they get down here, they need a refluff. Is that correct? That's correct, correct. It's no problem. Like, most of the time, they don't care. They'll be good. That's a guarantee, kind of. Almost not. Have you ever thought of going into this professionally, Rick? Well, you know what? I'm looking for my next thing. Get that scrotum nice and clean, Rick. You really, you have to scrub the scrotum? Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, it's not. Holy Moses, eh? <laughs> it's like a couple of basketballs. Takes a lot to impress me after all my travels. <laughs> Two weeks old. Oh no. Two weeks ago? Yeah. On my birthday? When was it born? 15th. Okay, close. Sorry. But, oh <laughs> no. This, oh no, you're kidding me. I feel so much better now. You know how they have those calming rooms now with puppies and it's stuff? It's like goats for yoga for goats. It's lamb, lamb yeah. cuddling. Oh my God, lamb cuddling. This is a thing. It should be a thing. They're just adorable. See, I like this show to have an educational component. And today, kids, we're going to learn about something called the poop cycle. So that just... would have killed if I was in grade four. It's <laughs> killing me now, really. Do they poop a lot? Yes, they do. It's pretty fascinating, actually. Is it? People stand here and watch the pigs poop as if they've never seen it before. Right, well, people don't see pigs poop a lot. It's a real shame. What's your favorite animal? Um, pig. Really? What's your favorite animal? Chicken. That's your sister. Chicken. Look at it. That's what it does. There's a life. That'll be me in one year. Hi, Becky. Are you the person that I got to talk to to get inside there? I am. Can I get in? Yep. Excellent, Becky. Thank you. What do we got here? This is a miniature zebu cow from India. Okay. Imagine they shrink cows in India. That's what they're doing in India now because the population of India is so large, there's no room for the cows anymore. Cows are very sacred there, and people want to have the cows in their house or in their hatchback with them. Is that correct? Uh... Interesting, the llamas, if you notice, they only have bottom teeth. They're like your nan. Now, are they spitters? They spit at you, don't they? Well, they can, but that's how they protect themselves. Okay, so if they don't feed, they only spit on you when they feel alarmed. That's right. Right, okay, so it's, it's just like people in show business. Would you like to pet me? They can pet me there. Thank you. I know it's pretty good, eh? We're actually hurting them. That's what we're doing, isn't it? Uh, sort of. Oh, are we supposed to let them out? I don't think that was supposed to, hang on. Sorry, that was us. Okay, only 41 escaped. Hi, what's your name? Lori Hurd. Lori Hurd, and this is a goat milking station, correct? Yes, it is. All right. That's a girl. Now, I thought there'd be more of a three-legged stool. Oh, look at this. There you go. Oh, my God. Look this... at that. You're a pro. Look at this. It's like in the movies. Is this a 2% goat or a homo goat? Because of NAFTA negotiations, I have to go milk a Mexican goat immediately after this. Look at that. 
That's enough for a bowl of cereal. You bet. Look at this. When a pro does it, it's like two fire hoses. Like, you got like a Frappuccino foam going on there? Come on. <laughs> Starbucks? You can't get a foam like that at Starbucks. <laughs> How many years have you been raising goats? 20 years. What I am from Quebec. Sorry for my English. Your English French. is excellent. Oh, thank now, you Now, what kind much. of goat is this? This is boar goats. Originally, they come Someone's from... Someone's talking to us. He is sell, saying to the females that he is there. He's the one for them. <laughs> I have friends who have the exact same technique. They sound just like that at 2 in the morning. Hi there. I've never done this before. Look at this one. This, guy, this guy's got a lot of work. You, oh, yeah. When we ride the goat, do we go fast? No. We don't ride the goats? No. Have you ever ridden a goat? Yeah. Yeah, but not today? No. Okay. Oh, I got a show goat. I, they brought in a pro for me. You were a, you were a Dickens, you were. Come on. <laughs> Do you want to switch goats? You take this one. Oh, we're getting applause. You're getting applause. Wave to the people. Thank you. Good job. From the Royal Agricultural Winter Fair. Thank you so much. Oh my goat, sorry.